Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da. Habita fillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And I thought, I thought it would be uh, very important to give an update about the uh, institute that I'm working on and it's going to take some time. Uh, Al-Athari Institute. And as I began a GoFundMe page uh, some months ago, I found that there wasn't, as unfortunately with many of our endeavors, there isn't a lot of support that we get in these types of endeavors. Like there are many people who raise funds for different projects and uh, it's it can be very difficult in massage it and so on and so forth. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank those people who have donated and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it on their scale of good deeds. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase them with khair. And may Allah wa ta'ala uh, bless us all with forgiveness and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad upon the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and our families and the Muslims everywhere and forgive the Muslims everywhere. Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen. So I would like to thank those people who have donated and that is in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said, Men la yashkur, men la yashkur nas, la yashkur Allah, o kama qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said, the one who does not uh, thank the people, he does not thank Allah. So that's first and foremost one thing I wanted to say. So I wanted this to be kind of an update of the project. Uh, the second point I wanted to make is that after thanking those who contribute and those who supplicate for its success, because at a minimum we could make supplication uh, for one another and that we can do khair. We want to spread good. And I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses, with, blesses us with tawfiq, that in the future we can actually uh, get this institute up and running and we can go forward and have ta'awun, ta'awun ala biri wa taqwa, you know, cooperating in righteousness and piety with other students of knowledge and put together something uh, that will be of benefit for us in this life as well as the hereafter and benefit the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa because we have so many people calling to various paths and so many people pull, putting out uh, false knowledge and false conceptions and ideologies about Islam and distorting the truth about Islam calling to secularism and new homosexual paths of Islam and all kind of strange things that are going on in the name of the deen which have nothing to do with the deen and are not legislated by Allah Azza wa Jal. So we hope that we can go forward in our efforts. Uh, another point I wanted to mention is I kind of became ha a little bit discouraged in the beginning and I, I thought really I've never been one to ask for money and I don't really like to. Uh, ask, and I think I felt better and more comfortable with looking at ways to do business and I, I think this is what I, I prefer. Anyone who wants to donate, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and we will uh, make dua for them and they will be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I'm kind of shifting away and I'm keeping the page open but I'm really focused on my eff efforts on being self-funded and looking for ways to just open business, a business or something to bring in uh, money to fund uh, the Dawa activities because I don't really like to ask and I don't really, you know, it's better to be the hand that gives instead of the hand that receives. So I prefer that path in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, and then you are not dependent upon people. So just to give you an update and I'm going to show you some of the uh, attached to this, uh, some of the uh, pictures and hopefully videos if I can get them off my phone to show you uh, some of the progress so far. So I was only able to uh, raise up to this point maybe six hundred dollars uh, give or take and uh, I was asking of course for about twenty five thousand uh, dollars to really do what we're trying to do to develop the curriculum and you know go and, 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 and really set it up but from my own money, I was able to, so far I have purchased the building. Uh, the building is basically a shipping container and I've had it insulated. Insulation alone costs 2000 uh, a little over $2,000, I believe. Uh, and I'll show you the pictures. I'll attach it to this video so you can see the progress. So this is where 
uh, and we're able to frame with the help of my Habib uh, helping us uh, frame it and get some of the walls up that we're going to where we'll be shooting videos and so on and so forth so it's going to be it's a work in progress it's going to take time it will take time for me to uh, continue to earn the money so that way I can uh, develop it and of course it takes time to sit away from a job that takes you away from in order you, you need to follow to be able to really develop it like you want to develop a professional curriculum which I want to do and I've already started shooting some uh, the videos and some of the things that I want to do uh, but it's going to take some time so I just wanted to thank everyone who has made dua and who has uh, contributed even if it was ten dollars or five dollars whatever they gave and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it on our scale of good deeds and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and please continue the supplication and please continue to support the various paths of khair this is the holy month of Ramadan there's a lot of charity work that needs to be done there's a lot of uh, Dawa efforts going on in Africa and all over the world. There's a lot of Muslims who are in need in, my, uh, in Burma, uh, Burma and our brothers and sisters in China. I don't know what we can do except for supplicate for them. But, you know, there's so many uh, efforts out there and things that need require money. And that's just the re nature of it. Dawa requires money. And so many of the projects, I encourage the people to support their students of knowledge in their various localities because they need money in order to give dawah. It's just the reality. And if you want it, you can't compare to what's going on in Yemen and Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a Muslim government. The Mashaikh are, are taken care of. The dawah efforts are well funded. Not like even Yemen. Uh, you know, there are dawah efforts that are funded and even the places like Damaj. They don't ask, but they're funded by major, uh, major uh, businessmen, wealthy businessmen in Saudi Arabia and otherwise. So they have that. They don't have to ask. We in the West, we don't have the, those luxuries, but we've got to be serious if we want to begin to uh, help our communities. And it, and it requires those imams that are struggling, that are, you know, trying to produce khair, you're going to have to support them. So we ask that you support the play, the various ways of khair, and may Allah bless us with tawfiq, and I will show you some of the pictures shortly, and may Allah bless us with tawfiq. So by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I own this land, and it has cost me probably just for the trailer about uh, six thousand dollars so far. Uh, by the permission of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, we're going to you know do some positive with this. I hope in the future it's going to take time. It's going to require patience, but Allah, we're going to go forward if Allah Subhanahu wa Taala blesses us with tawfiq in that. So hopefully we can open up all kind of other projects with it, even though it's out in the middle of nowhere. But alhamdulillah, we own it. We're not going to be asking anyone for anything. This is my land, and uh, we've purchased the trailer and insulated it, and we're going to go forward. May Allah, we just ask that you make dua for us and that we can go forward. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Wa billah a tawfiq.